Hey guys, and welcome to not another Minecraft video. <laughs> um, I saw that um, you were having or wanting me to show you the um, links for the mini map I had, and um, I'll go ahead and show you guys how to do all that stuff. So first what you do is you go to the Minecraft forms um, from the Minecraft homepage, click on Community, click on Minecraft Forms, and it brings you to the minecraftform.net. Um, then you scroll down here to Minecraft section Mapping and Modding. Then you scroll down here, um, and what you're looking for first is Risugami's mods. Um, not sure where they are, so whatever. Um, but when it comes up, it should look something like this. Um, he has a whole bunch of mods. Here's the installation for the stuff. Um, open up percent app data percent, which is here. Yeah, I know my highlighting has gotten a tad jacked up because I was fiddling around with it. Um, so, the mods. This is the one that you want to be able to install the um, minimap. So what you're going to do is click download. I already have it all downloaded. And then once you get that downloaded, you're going to go back and you're going to look for um, Zan's minimap. Um, I'm not sure where it is because it's been a while since I downloaded it. I'm sure it's around here somewhere. Well, it will probably. There's probably a form like right at the beginning. Ah, one stop mod shop. What you do is click on this. and then it'll show you all of this stuff um, scroll down all the way to the bottom ish or about here and then look around R. there's Risigami's mods um, mod loader that's what his mod is called um, there's a whole bunch of other mods of his um, and this is pretty much the way that you install all mods. Well, not really. And then Xaniris's minimap. Click on that. Scroll down. Link. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, yeah. Okay, so click that. And it will bring you to this. Here's where you download it. Alright, um, I'm going to go ahead and stop it here because I did something really stupid. Er, just pause. Be right back. Alright, I'm back. Um, what I did was, um, I forgot to install a new Minecraft. Here's my main one with the, um, texture pack on it and stuff. Alright, so what you're going to do is you're going to right click it open with um, WinZip or 7-Zip or another zipping program. I do not recommend BitZip because it sucks. Um, so here's this. Okay, so what you're going to do is go where you installed the mods to. These are all of the mods that I at one point in time used. Um, here is the mod loader. Click on that. Highlight all this stuff drag it into that window click add and then it adds it all nice and pretty then go back to where you saved Zan's minimap and then highlight all of that stuff drag it in and then wait for it to load up all right and then this is the most important part if you don't do this minecraft will not work what you do is you find the meta slash inf file, right click it, click delete. 
yes. If you don't do that, Minecraft will not work. And just to prove to you that it does indeed work like this, I'm going to go ahead and load up Minecraft, log in. Because that means I need... Never mind. Alright, see? It's all loaded up, nice and pretty, apart from the middle there that was kind of irritating. So, go to wherever you want to go, be it multiplayer or single player. Um, and then, when you log in, simulate the world for a bit. <laughs> Alright, and it's really laggy because I'm using Camtasia. Um, but here's my mini-map, right there. If I hadn't loaded the mod, that wouldn't be there. So, yep, yeah, it works. Hopefully that didn't just corrupt that world, because that is my main world. <laughs> well, there you guys have it. See y'all in the next Minecraft video, which hopefully will be tonight. And it shall be on my world. Okay, guys. Thanks. See y'all later. Bye.